very much for joining me. Well, we have the G4 magnetic storm currently going on, creating earthquakes, adverse weather, physical effects such as stress. Are you feeling stressed? Let me know. And earthquakes. There's been four magnitude six or greater earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Uh, this one is a recent earthquake, a magnitude 3.5 in Kansas. Here's the current KP index showing, uh, yeah, all the stuff that's going on here affecting our Earth. NOAA put out a severe geomagnetic storm alert, G4. What it means, a disturbance of the Earth's magnetic field, often varying in density between um, lower levels and severe storm conditions over the course of the entire event. Definitely going to affect GPS. We may have power fluctuations. We may have power outage. It's going to create drag on satellites. Uh, so the uh, lower orbiting satellites, such as Starlink, yeah, it could bring many of them down. Yeah, the storm's supposed to be at its peak, supposedly, sometime this afternoon. Here we got the proton flux. And this comes out every five minutes. Here we have the X-ray flux. Right here is that um, M8. 0.9 I think it was solar flare it was a long duration lasted over three hours and there was several um, flares afterwards and they're all going to uh, slam into each other and impact the earth and yeah we're gonna have earthquakes here's the northern lights viewing forecast for tonight the best chance yeah we got North Dakota South Dakota Michigan Illinois um, Ohio, Pennsylvania, uh, Washington, Oregon, parts of Nevada, parts of California. This is going to be amazing if it does happen. I don't know about me here in South Dakota. I can actually smell the smoke from the three um, large fires up there in Canada. Actually, there's more than three. It's three provinces that are having the fires. And this morning, the sun, as it rose was um, red, almost looked like um, an orange, a dark orange color. Here we have an image of the smoke, the predicted areas that the smoke is going to impact. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, sending prayers to those poor people. Um, thousands upon thousands of people have been evacuated. Like I said, it's in three different provinces, um, these fires. So devastating. Yeah, I could smell it yesterday here in South Dakota. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to go... Uh, well, they don't have it complete, but they show it going down by um, uh, Florida, the East Coast, um, Charleston. Um, yeah, it's, it's bad. New York City. Yeah, but for my area, yeah, that's the worst. Look at that, 56 yeah I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see the northern lights if we do have clear skies yeah it shows here uh, North Dakota and then down here would be South Dakota and this is just their prediction center so the four magnitude six or greater earthquakes the most recent was uh, a 6.2 for Kermadec Island uh, that was 6.2 miles in depth no tsunami warning. As I say, any earthquake can have a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Before that, there was a 6.0, same location, same depth, 6.2 miles. Before that, there was a 6.1, same location, 6.2 miles. That's the third one. And then Japan, I reported that one yesterday, um, the 6.0. That was 13.1 miles in depth. That one there really shook up the uh, city of Kershaw. Yeah, people are on edge there. This is all part of the ring of fire. Yeah, and it makes me wonder, um, is anything going to happen along our Cascadia subduction zone or the St. Andreas Fault? If they are primed to have a major earthquake, it could happen because of these uh, protons and X-ray fluxes that are impacting the Earth been a lot of fives or greater um, yeah this one here 
is uh, I, I did a report I believe about this one uh, 5.4 off the uh, coast of um, San Lucas uh, Mexico yeah I hope you have surge protectors for your computers and maybe your TV and uh, different appliances uh, there was 17 people that sent in reports for this magnitude 3.5 earthquake there by Hill City Kansas intensity level 4 being Sunday most people are probably sleeping it occurred at 526 a.m. today intensity level 4 means it was felt indoors by many outdoors by a few at night or if they're in bed sleeping they may have been woken up dishes windows doors were rattling automobiles would have rocked noticeably it felt like yeah to them to maybe a 3 to a 3.5 USGS is saying it's a 3.5 currently they may revise it so going to Google Earth here's the earthquake now the day before there was a magnitude 2.9 close to the same location that earthquake occurred at 5 10 a.m. local time approximately uh, 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles in depth where today's earthquake once again uh, was at 526 a.m. and it was uh, 3.7 miles in depth seismic activity in Kansas is not traditionally known for frequent or intense earthquakes however seismic activity has ingre increased in recent decades some events linked to the induced seismicity from the oil and gas activities such as salt, salt water injection historically between 1867 and 1976 at least 31 felt er earthquakes were documented in kansas from 1977 to 1989 they have recorded uh, over 200 quakes ranging from a magnitude 0 0.8 to a magnitude 4. Um, some quakes in Kansas are associated with the uh, Numa, Numa Ridge. I'm sorry, I'm tongue-tied working on my first cup of coffee. Oh, and I want to give a shout out. I got a cup of coffee yesterday from one of the followers. Thank you very much. And if you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. Um, Anyways, that's a, a, a buried mountain range. And we also got the um, Humboldt Fault Zone, which is drawn out here in red and yellow. The recent earthquakes near Hill City are minor, with a magnitude below 4. Yeah, today was a little bit of a stronger one, you know, being the magnitude 3.4. Yeah, it's unlikely to, to have caused any damage though some residents might have felt the light shaking yeah some of them were woken up yeah this g4 class geomagnetic storm is going to produce auroras gonna create earthquakes health effects high blood pressure yeah watch your hearts earthquakes we might even have volcanic eruptions you just don't know if the uh, fault lines and the volcanoes are ready to go they very possibly maybe <laughs> could go um, auroras um, will also be visible in Europe this event could be one of the biggest events of solar cycle 25 yeah um, yeah so yeah keep watch here's the felt reports for those earthquakes that USGS is showing they don't always show them all here we got uh, Hill City intensity level 4 one report there Hayes uh, intensity level 2 let's see another 13 from Hill City intensity level 4 and another one may all classify this as Hill City or being close to Hill City so the farthest report is about 46 miles away or 75 kilometers reports of this earthquake there in Kansas are still coming in um, we're up to 19 it says so what are your thoughts are you prepared for power fluctuations power surges please put your comments down below how do you feel do you feel anxious yeah i woke up feeling anxious um, please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you Bye.